Microphone check. One, two, what is this? It's the five foot seven assassin in the podcast business. I am your host, Rohan Patra, the rap music plug at your service. The Rap Music Plug podcast presented by QLC TV is the remedy to the I don't have anything good to listen to problem. Through in-depth album and song reviews, as well as artist interviews and general rap commentary sprinkled in between on all of what the mainstream and underground rap scenes have to offer, this is your one-stop shop to knowing what to add to your queue, play next, or pop into your record player. Welcome to the show. What is up, family? This is episode 33 of the Rap Music Plug podcast, and I'm back after doing a couple interviews in a row. I'm here with an album review of Young Morpheus's States of Precarity. Young Morpheus is a LA producer and rapper who I have heard of and heard in passing for quite a while through some features, as well as his work with Pink Saifu, most notably, on Bag Talk. That was a 2020 record that I definitely liked, and Young Morpheus not only rapped, but produced a lot of that. Young Morpheus runs in the wave of Pink Saifu, Fly Anakin, who share a lot of commonalities from a sound and subject matter perspective. Young Morpheus exemplifies what him and his contemporaries have shown in this space time and time again. Smooth and jazzy production mixed with fiery anti-establishment lyricism can be a great combination. States of Precarity is another strong addition to this movement of thoughtful, socially conscious rappers who opt for a more laid-back and less explicitly on-the-nose political messaging approach, along with significant emphasis and attention to the aesthetics of the music which is a detour from the Talib Kweli immortal techniques of the world that made the message of their music the central focus of their songs, whereas the sound took a backseat and was much less emphasized. It makes for this brand of music by Young Morpheus and others to be more versatile due to the fact that it's more musically engaging and can be listened to on multiple levels. States of Precarity was created with a distinct purpose in mind, and you can hear a sense of very palpable disdain and vitriol towards law enforcement and the U.S. American capitalist society that is very powerful at times and adds a lot of urgency to this record. It also does a great job of creating an atmosphere that is smoky, wavy, which fits in with the thoughtful, smoked-out subject matter, with a great sense of cohesion between tracks, with nice, subtle sound effects, and relevant skits that I really liked. This LP features a sound that prioritizes mood and aesthetics over being a hard-knocking beat that is loud and attention-grabbing. It finds itself in the same lineage of the type of sound that Rock Marciano is largely responsible for popularizing in the underground. A beat like Limitless on this project sounds like it would have fit perfectly on Rock's latest Mount Marcy album. The soundscape of States of Precarity is really warm with vinyl crackers, litter, vinyl crackles, that's what I meant to say, not vinyl crackers, that sounds like something someone would call a white guy or something. But no, vinyl crackles are littered throughout, and sample source material found on this project is so bright, with some nice reggae music influences, I believe as well, that are mixed in really nicely to this lo-fi sound. Thutmos shows such a nice combination of great mixing decisions and sampling. I love when these bit-reduced high-pitched keys come into this beat at different times in the instrumental that sounds so nice as it is surrounded by this brick of vinyl surface noise and lo-fi drums. It just sounds incredible. The way the samples are chopped and are interestingly textured on the track 1993 GQ cover shoot and War on Drugs is brilliant, particularly on the GQ track. I love how groovy the production is and how the tempo is a bit faster than the other tracks here on the album. 
on passing days, the way the beat showcases the crispness of the island drums, the exotic instrumentation is just really great, and the guitar lick and overall calming vibe of the track Soldier Chant gives me a strong Nujabe Samurai Shampoo vibe. It sounds a lot like that track, The Space Between Two Worlds. So if you don't know that song, check it out. You'll definitely see the similarity. I also appreciate that the couple skits here on the album are backed up by engaging musical instrumentals that keep me still just as interested as I was when it was Young Morpheus rapping because the instrumentals are, are still great. Lyrically, the anger and seriousness of the subject matter is often packaged in a manner that is not overly energetic, but is still clearly confident and firm and holds no punches. The themes of this album often explore racism, gentrification, and especially police brutality. The amount of times you hear pigs is, is pretty high, and for good reason, obviously. That not only goes without saying, but still feels very relevant to the current political climate that we're dealing with. The lyricism on States of Precarity contrasts so strongly with the smooth nature of the album's sound, which I really like. At its best, this album excels when it articulates serious points about important topics in a calm yet firm kind of way. This album isn't an album with much lyrical acrobatics or impressive flows. It's really an album that is more concerned with getting a point across. And I will say that I would have liked for Young Morpheus to incorporate more elements of wordplay, punchlines, or stretch his flow or vocal delivery to more expressive places. Because I think the rapping performance is just missing something that makes it fully engaging at all times, as it's kind of just in the middle. It's not supremely monotonous like a Boldy James, and yet not hyper-expressive or distinct in any way to make the raps stand out. My ears noticeably perked up when he sped up his pace and flow a bit on GQ cover shoot, which was aided by a tremendously groovy production, and he just really rapped his ass off. It's probably my favorite song on the album. I will also say that lyrically, the messages he put forward are not nearly as complete or potent as I think they could have been. As the lyrics opt to touch on a lot of these topics, but not in a way that communicates a really complete thought. They more just describe the what and the how of many of these serious topics but fail to bring it all home by driving home the why. Why these encounters with the cops or these elements of racism in society, why it matters, how it makes him feel, how it makes his people feel, what is the net conclusion of all of these things. That's what I think the lyrics are missing. Although they're still meaningful in nature, I feel like they don't fully explore these ideas as much as I wanted them to. The skits, actually, which are a real strong point on the album, tend to drive home more of the politically, socially conscious pro-black themes more captivatingly than the lyrics sometimes manage to do. Because skits like The Indignant Path beautifully capture the utter disrespect and audacity of the white ruling class as they acted naive in this skit to a super clear and reasonable feeling of fear that this black woman was expressing as it relates to a confrontation with the cops in what I would assume is the Jim Crow era of the United States. I feel like young Morpheus finds himself in a position where there is just a lack of pop to his music to push it over the top. But I think he's really close because I really still like this album. Production-wise, he already has a great grasp of what production works for him and how to blend his various musical influences into the production. And he clearly has an appetite to pack his music with substantive content. So once he can get more precise and punchy with his rapping performance, I think he'll complete the whole package.
And with another album coming out very soon, March 5th of this year, I really hope he can put it all together because the talent is clear. Young Morpheus showed a strong command on the boards and on the mic that makes this a very colorful and entertaining listen with a lot of substance in the equation that elevates the overall album experience. And to top it off, it's one of those albums where it's best listened to front to back, which are always my preferred kinds of albums. So I give Young Morpheus's States of Precarity a 7.3 on 10. Definitely buy this one on Bandcamp, support independent artists. This is worth checking out 100%. So this concludes today's episode of the Rap Music Plug podcast presented by QLC TV. I hope this episode gave you some fresh new perspectives on the latest rap releases, as well as a recommendation for the next great rap record to add to your collection. But now that I've spoken, it's your turn to have your voice heard. So let's stay in touch. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rowview, R-O-H-V-I-E-W, to connect with me on a personal level, where you'll be able to interact with my thoughts and perspectives on music, surely, but also on politics and sports as well. If you're an artist who wants to get their new song or album reviewed on the show, hit me up via email at qlctv.podcast at gmail.com or just send me a DM on Twitter or Instagram. I would love to give you public feedback through a review or private feedback if that's what you'd prefer. I would love to be a part of helping you grow as an artist to help the show grow and ensure that everyone's listening to the best rap music at all times make sure you leave a review and rating on apple podcasts so that the show can be spotlighted by that wonderful algorithm and be exposed to more people for exclusive content and updates related to the show follow the rap music plug podcast on facebook you can find all of this information along with exclusive playlists created by myself by clicking the link that's in the episode's notes So that's all for today. Talk to you soon.